Since the invention of TV, our cameras have been enthusiastically pointed towards big sporting events. The few who hate sports can't understand why, but we know it's because you never know what you're going to see next. If you have any friends who hate sports, show them this video. Here's a collection of some of the most incredible moments in sport, those moments that nobody could replicate even if they tried. Let's get it on! Every so often, you witness a moment of sheer dedication that makes you wonder if you've ever really put a decent amount of work into anything in your life. This guy is so determined to get a goal, he won't let anything stand in his way, literally. He just runs straight into the goalkeeper and does an insane front flip over the top of him to get where he needs to be to have a clear shot. Then he takes the time to get the goal and even celebrate before worrying about the fact that he used his groin to vault over the goaltender. He should definitely become a motivational speaker. When you've achieved something amazing, it's almost traditional to celebrate with a high five. It's not often you see a high five becoming the thing you're celebrating, though. These guys took the humble high five to a new level at the Audi 9s. It's worth reminding you while you're watching this that skiing is a dangerous sport and all kinds of things can go wrong on a jump like this, but they obviously thought this would be cool enough to give it a go. And they were right. It's not every day you get the chance to double high five your friend while flying upside down through the air. Honestly, I don't know how they did it, the accuracy is incredible. You're probably never going to see anything like that ever again. <sighs> it's one thing when things go a bit wrong when you're playing something like baseball, you'll probably lose a point, which isn't ideal, but it's fine. When something goes a little bit wrong when you're racing a motorbike, it's a very different story. It isn't just a point you're losing, it could be your face instead, or worse. This 200 mile per hour wobble could have easily led to a life-threatening crash, but something impossible happened instead. The rider just hopped off his bike and went for a ride on his competitor's wheelie bar, almost like he'd done it on purpose. That's not exactly what you expect to see when one of the bikes is on fire, but there's a reason for that, because it has never happened before and it will never happen again. Now, here's a sport you probably never even thought about watching before, parachuting. Well, you won't be alone in that. I'm willing to bet most people have never watched parachuting. So if you won't go to the sport, the sport will come to you by invading another sport that people actually do watch. That's right, you have to watch him if he just lands in the middle of a football match you were in the middle of enjoying. It was probably an accident, but maybe not. Either way, you probably won't ever see a moment like that again. Most professionals are only really, really good at one sport, and that's fair with all the training and dedication that goes into it. But that does mean we don't often get to see what happens when you combine two sports. So what happens when you put a race car driver and the world's best bowler together? The world's fastest strike, that's what. That's right, this guy's so good, he can bowl a perfect strike from inside a car traveling at 140 miles per hour. Any normal person would be doing nothing but screaming. But even at that speed, with the car in his way, he can can still put our mediocre bowling skills to shame. There's a breed of sportsmen that come along maybe once in a generation. The people that are so good at their chosen game that they become synonymous with the sport. LeBron James is one of those people. Even people who know nothing about basketball know that he's a great basketball player. But what kind of skill does he have that outshines all the rest? Well, this moment is a pretty good example. Most of us, if we were in this situation, would only be able to see all the people standing in our way. He only sees the space in between them and somehow manages to get the ball between their legs even though he's doing it behind his back. And of course, he sees it through the little basket. How? No idea. He's just brilliant. And James, what a dance to the hoop. For all the examples of professional sportsmen doing amazing things with fine-tuned precision, there's another example of someone getting it horribly wrong. But when something does go wrong, that can sometimes be a great opportunity for everyday people like us to do something awesome. This mistake could have led to something horrific. Just imagine that heavy bat flying towards an innocent child. It's the stuff of nightmares. Luckily, this guy was in the audience. He was brave enough to stand up and try and catch the bat, saving potentially countless lives in the process. And there was a girl on hand to give him a kiss, just like in all the best superhero movies. What a touching scene. Definitely a one-of-a-kind moment in sporting history. <laughs> 
In tennis, you're all on your own. Unless you're playing doubles, but you know what I mean. Anyway, when you only have yourself to rely on, you have to pull out all the stops or you're going home. Gail Monfils was up against it during this rally and he knew it. When your opponent starts hitting the ball down the line like that, you need to start getting worried. That's not an easy shot to return. But he didn't give up. Instead, he decided to prove something with more style than most fashion designers could ever wish for. He doesn't even pause to look, just turns it into an amazing point in more ways than one. Every now and then, someone will have a moment so great that you don't even need to know about the sport to be able to tell that they've done something incredible. You can just tell by the looks on the faces of everyone there. This guy is Michi Brusco, and he's about to blow everybody's mind. How? Well, by doing something that no professional skateboarder has ever managed to do before. Not that you'd know that by looking at him, he seems cool as a cucumber. Just casually pulling off an impossible 1260 degree stunt with his skateboard. That's three and a half rotations for anyone who's eagerly trying to count. Four. Yeah, Mitchie. A 1260 at the X Games. You can see how cool it is by how everyone around him is absolutely losing their minds over it. An essential part of all great moments in sport. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh! Mitchie just lands the... The challenge in professional sports is that no matter how good you are, there's always another great player trying to get in your way. It must be so annoying. You just have to keep upping your game if you have any chance of winning, trying more and more difficult moves, or doing impossible things to come out on top. So when your opponent catches the ball between you and the home plate, you're not going to let that get in the way of you scoring, are you? Well, Chris Coughlin didn't anyway. He just jumped over his unusual obstacle like it was no big deal. Now that's how you create a great sporting moment. How about that play by Chris Coughlin? Sometimes the odds are stacked against you so that there's simply no hope. You might as well give up and go home. It would take a miracle to save you now. That's exactly how this team felt when their opponent kicked this ball. It was a surefire goal until the miracle I mentioned took to the field. Now watch the world's most amazing defender save this goal. So yeah, he was a dog and technically he wasn't part of the team, but it's not every day you get to watch such excellent defending in action. It's gotta count for something. All right, so you're not satisfied that a dog running across a field counts as an amazing moment in sporting history. Despite its excellent timing, fair enough. I guess sport is all about incredible physical achievements by humans. Don't worry, I can more than make up for that. How, you ask? With Zlatan Ibrahimovic, of course. Watch this. 30 yards from the goal and with the ball up in the air, you wouldn't think it could be possible to score a goal. And for most people, it wouldn't be. But he's not most people, and this is no ordinary goal. I should also mention that he'd already scored three goals before this impossible bicycle kick, too, so this was almost all for show. Now that's how you play the game. You can never predict when something's going to go wrong at a pro sporting event. These are high stakes games and that kind of tension makes things volatile. If this video is anything to go by, you obviously don't even need to be playing the game to be on high alert. Anything can happen. This interview was going perfectly well until a rogue baseball nearly killed the interviewer. She's so lucky she had Evan Longoria at the mic because he obviously has those amazing reflexes that professional sportsmen get when they've been playing for a long time. Just look at her face. You can see her life flashing before her eyes. Gymnastics is one of those unfair sports where it's almost impossible to be perfect. Normally a win is what you aim for, but there's an elusive perfect 10 that everyone aims for in gymnastics and almost nobody achieves. I'm going to warn you now, don't even try and look for a mistake in this amazing floor exercise by Caitlin Ohashi, because there isn't one. This is what a perfect 10 looks like. In this sport, that means you literally didn't put a foot wrong. And just look at her teammates. They're all up and dancing with her, which usually happens as a form of encouragement, but you can see on their faces that they're cheering because they can't believe what they're seeing.